Welcome. This is your weekly Pet Lovers Heart Spread read. It's the 24th of October, Sunday. I try to get this read out every weekend. It's a collective read for whoever resonates. If you're drawn to listen. And the heart spread I use as kind of my core reading. Eight cards examine you and the person that's on your heart and mind. And here we just say now that this is your pet. You can also use it. Uh, had a reading the other week. It's up still in my confine a couple weeks ago. Um, the heart special heart spread where it was the higher self. So we're looking at the relationship between ourselves and the higher self. Here it's um, your pet, and it's important to note that this is a pet that's on your mind so it don't necessarily have to be with you um, it's what it's going to pick up on is who's in your heart and i said last week i mean i know pets have souls it's obvious but i didn't realize that a pet could be a guardian angel as i learned something last week in that reading it's pretty heavy reading it was one of the heaviest readings that's the first uh, pet read i've done and drew me to want to do more, you know. Uh, really. Um, so, hope you can see me. I'm at my new jungle location here in uh, Cancun. In this very different area. It's kind of like a little enclave in the middle of the city. There's a lot of jungle, really, almost. It's a large ecological area right next to us. Kind of like a little. New York City Park, Central Park, that jungle, very peaceful. I'll hold the cards up as we go along, guys. So they're going to look at you, and I'm going to look at your pet, number one, number two position, where you're at, where your mind is at, and where your heart is at, in and around your pet. If you can get where you can see this hanged man energy. This is the energy of two things mainly, looking at things from a different perspective and of waiting, knowing, waiting purposefully, knowing that you're not ready, knowing that you're something you need to catch up with, uh, align with, uh, something like this. Wow. And your pet, wow. I want to cry now. The most beautiful card in the entire tarot deck, the sun. This is the energy of your pet. How they're feeling in and around you. You're the one in their life. You're the sun or your family. This is them, how they feel. You're feeling in this, I don't know how to read this, guys. I mean, you know where you're at. I say this to know if you resonate uh, with this. Um, in this hangman energy, uncertain about something. It's like in football when they call timeout. Well, why do they call timeout? Because they're seeing something that doesn't look right. Other teams lining up. They haven't seen it before. Maybe they're on to their play. They, they call timeout. they got to look at things a little differently. Figure it out. But your animal's just happy to be alive. I mean, my God, you know, definitely uh, full of life. Um, I mean, could literally be uh, a um, Leo, born in uh, the Leo time frame, because the sun also does represent Leo. But what a beautiful energy. Um, and let's see if I get more Ace of Swords. So, this is how you're feeling towards your animal. I, I, I gotta, I'm sorry, but I get the feeling like you're, you you feel like you you gonna lose your animal, or you feel like you're. I would I want to feel like maybe you feel like it's gonna be time to put the animal down for their own good, and you're. But the fact that they're coming in as the sun that that doesn't seem. I mean if that's the case it's heartbreaking. I've had a lot of dogs and I've seen this. You know and you know just you just say like. As long as they're having a better day most of the day than worse, keep going. And this looks like a creature that's very glad to be alive. 
that's what I get and that's what animals give us really it's that they're just always in the moment and they're always so glad my god I'm so sorry uh, wow the tower yeah it's hard to uh, avoid uh, what that is um, so uh, this could have already happened and now you're in grief about it questioning with this ace of swords um, well let's get advice from spirit guys very powerful reading sorry cancer moon two of pentacles a literal interpretation of this and this is not in that shitty way it's in, think of this in the most loving and supportive way is get it together get balance get whole do what you have to do take care of yourself this is advice from spirit towards your pet here that's what this is this position here number five and number six is their advice from spirit towards you. Wow. Well, I think with the King of Swords, what the King of Swords would say, very strong, very confident, very decisive. Uh, let me just look at this figure. I think you have the light to see it, I hope. I don't know what that is behind making that noise. It sounds like a monkey. That would be so cool. But. Gotta take that into the reading. Anything that comes up. I'm not sure if it's a monkey. But it's something on. And it's just screaming there. And I feel like this is your pet saying. You know. Everything's the way it needs to be. It's a long story, but I once was told uh, by a voice that I trust uh, that everything that ever was or ever will be or is right now is perfect. And that's, I know it's true, but it's hard sometimes. I call it the uh, caribou conundrum. I think of a caribou being eaten alive, is that perfect? Well, how is everything perfect? But this is the kind of assertion your pet would be making. It's very strong. It's like, you know, please, please, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. You know, I'm in spirit now. And when our loved ones pass on, I mean, that's it for suffering. They immediately think about us. What I've noticed doing these pet reads is they act just like people. I, that shouldn't be no surprise. When they die, they stay with us here, don't you, if you want them. Love binds us, and it, they got souls, and they got love, and we got love for them, so they don't go anywhere when they pass over. And they're really concerned about you taking care of your health now. For one thing, you know, a loss is a blow to your health. We know this. Wow. And this is your advice for the overall relationship, the Empress. So, really want you to take care of yourself. Whatever it takes, even lavishing upon yourself in some way, more than probably you've, uh, you normally would do. And you know, really kind of focusing with the Two of Pentacles and the Empress upon you being solid and you being whole within yourself. I mean, really solid and really whole really abundant it's like a real wish and this is coming from this king i mean your animal i don't know what the size was and whether it's large or small or cat or dog but you know it has the heart of a king kind of bold courageous outspoken strong the Ten of Wands is the outcome. Now you're carrying this burden. Carrying this burden. And the Six of Wands. 
I'm going to clarify this out with the Six of Wands here as the final outcome. Clarifying the Ten of Wands and the outcome. You are carrying this burden. There's no getting out of carrying this burden. I think you, you're you doing as much as you can. I mean, you, Wands are act, can be actions, so you've literally done everything you can. Whatever that means. It could mean you've done the work, you've done, you've made efforts to, you know, with healing, with dealing with grief, you know, but, you know, this kind of victory is coming. And, and I got to tell you, it, it's the kind of, it could be with the Six of Wands and this kind of reading with a, this pet reading, um, this is going to be a new um, pet in your life, you know. You could read six weeks, six month time frame into that. I know it's a read for a weekly read, but maybe. Um, six of Wands would imply soon. Six of Wands to me is a puppy or a kitten, something, a baby. Baby monkey. <laughs> baby monkey. But thank you guys. I do appreciate it. If you give it a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend, and subscribe.